purpose of this video will be to explore the website and talk about purchasing photos and go over a price list. So I'm going to go over here to galleries and I'll select evening and I'll go to this image as an example. Then you would hover over buy, then click select product. Then that will bring up two different options. You'll have prints or showcase. Prints is uh, photographic paper type prints. There's a couple, at least a couple types of photo paper there. Then we have showcase, which uh, entails stretched canvas on wood uh, frames. Um, I don't have it uploaded, I mean I don't have it in the price list yet, but there's also a metal prints option which is even more expensive. But um, anyway, let's go, and, uh, go ahead and click on prints for now. And it's usually best to go ahead and click on best fit. And the smallest size I'm offering is 6 by 9 Only it's under $11 without shipping. Largest is 24 by 36, very large print, $109.95. Still fairly inexpensive uh, compared to some photographers. Anyway, you can see the full range there. Um, let's go ahead and click on all prints. Some of these obviously won't be a good fit for the image we selected. For instance, there are square formats and wide format prints. Uh, wide format up to 30 by, well, okay, that's a square one, 30 by 30. Um, a wide format would be 12 by 24. And most of them are well under $100. Um, anyway, you can see the variety there. <clears throat> I'll mention that, notice you'll see two options of 12 by 18. One of them is a um, pro option professional and the other is um, the difference is one of them it will print exactly how the file is uh, at, you know how it was uploaded whereas the other one they will make adjustments the one the uh, selection where they make adjustments that is considered to not be the professional the professional is the one where they you know expect that you made all the adjustments yourself and nothing needs to be changed you won't have to really worry about this because at this point um, most of the images on here are not full resolution images. The reason is because this is still mainly just a hobby and with an occasional, um, you know, a little bit of income here and there. Uh, so in that case, you can understand I haven't taken the time to upload every high resolution image since it would take me quite a few hours to do. I prefer to just upload them as someone, you know, requests a certain image that they see on here. Um, that I can upload it the full resolution and they can purchase it then at that point. Or uh, you can also email me at bigrex at gmail.com. That's B as in boy, I-G-G-R-E-X at gmail.com. And if you see an image, um, in a minute we'll go over some other websites where I have additional images which I have not uploaded here yet. Um, you could, you know, if you see an image you like, you could um, request that I upload it here. Also, uh, what I'm doing right now is um, I order them myself from here. I have a slightly different interface where I can order the images that appear here. And then I'll have it shipped to myself, and then I'll review it, make sure it looks right, and then I'll ship it off to you. So the best way probably to um, you know contact me about ordering images would be to you know just email me. And um, then I'll uh, get the process started and have it. Um, print it off. Okay, um, let's go ahead and go, in fact, for now, let's go and just select one of these, and let's just say you well, did want to order it yourself. This one, I happen to know this image I selected is full resolution one. Um, if it were not, it would say insufficient um, dimensions, or I can't remember the wording they use, insufficient. Um, anyway, it's not large enough to do a large larger print. But, um, okay, your options are e-surface, that is uh, essentially a, you know, regular um, photo paper, it looks like regular photo paper. Then Kodak Metallic, that's the kind of, it's a kind of an iridescent, if you were to move the paper, the photo, and the light, it looks uh, slightly luminescent. Um, it's a little bit, um, 
different. It still has the true faithful, um, you know, reproduction of the original color. And over here you have a description of exactly what you're getting. They have a description of the different types of paper. Black and white, um, that's also an option, but these photos aren't necessarily optimized for black and white prints. I would probably want, want to work them over a little more for that. Usually you like to have more whites and blacks and not so much gray uh, very often. But anyway, though, these you can see the different prices, just slightly different for, um, you know, slightly higher price for these as opposed to the regular photo paper. Okay, and you can click Add to Cart. Um, in fact, I'm gonna go, going to go ahead and do that because then, oh, I have to sign in first. I'm not signed in, I thought I was. Okay, if I were signed in, then it might give me options where you could, um, it will show you whether you want to take the print and say, for instance, you I have a print here which doesn't quite fit any of the dimensions perfectly and there might be a little white on top or bottom, you could tell the, um, you could select whether you wanted it to be stretched across the full thing, or if you wanted it to be, um, you know, where there's, like I said, white on the top or bottom, or maybe the sides. I think that option is usually best if it doesn't fit perfectly, because then you can just trim it. Um, <clears throat> but anyway, you don't have to worry about any of that if you just, you know, email me at this point, and I'll deal with that and make sure it, it looks the best and fits in the uh, you know, prints off correctly, but, um, okay, let's go back to just, just look at the prices of the gallery version of prints. Okay, this time we're going to select, oh, unfortunately it, okay, let me go click back because it's automatically going to the prints. Showcase this time, and you can see here, canvas gallery wrap, we'll go ahead and click here, and it gives a description of it, what that would be. On these I've elected to have a 1.5 inch um, wooden stretcher frame. I could also accommodate a 2 inch uh, wooden uh, frame. It just, it's a little more expensive, so I don't have that actually on the catalog at this time. I also don't have metal prints, uh, which are printed on aluminum. They're even more expensive than the canvas, but that can be you know, arranged. It just is not currently on the um, price list. So as you can see, it's a quite a bit more expensive. 24 by 36 inch turns out to be $363.86, and the smallest would be a 10 by 8 by 10 for $117.50. So almost approaching 10 times what the uh, you know the regular photographic print would be. Oh, another option I do have frames you can get on here. I think they're um, you know it's not the uh, I, you might be able to get frames cheaper elsewhere, but they do have a pretty good variety of nice looking frames here if you want to explore that. Um, that's uh, another possibility. In fact, I'll just uh, click on something here. Oh, that's right, I'm not logged in. Anyway, if you were to log in, you have the option of adding a frame as well. If you want more information on that, you can contact me. But, um, okay, um, for now, let's go to the main page again. And I'm just going to go ahead and click on the Facebook link. <clears throat> there you have more photos you can choose from in addition to the ones I've uploaded on the website over there. Just um, click on photos. And you can see in the order I've uploaded a variety of photos, many of them. in addition to what's on the other website, that's all for 2015. Um, 2014, and uh, yeah, just a whole lot of uh, imagery to choose from. Then, in addition to that, over here on Flickr.com, you can see my photo stream at this address right here. 
I'm using this browser because the other one doesn't uh, support Flickr, so that's why I switched over in case you're wondering. But uh, anyway, all the photos I've uploaded in order of when they were submitted. So we have a lot more there in addition to what is on the website. Again, if you want to up, you know, want to order any of these, um, you can email me at bigrex.com at gmail.com. Sorry, <laughs> these are fairly um, hot right now. You could say. I mean, people are more interested in the Pace and Temple at least here. Um, I had someone contact me the other day that they saw this on. I can't remember what website if it was Reddit or some website where they you know, found a link to it and they wanted to purchase it. That doesn't happen that often uh, to me. Um, I uploaded this to Facebook and a lot had a lot more views than I usually do. I don't know if you'd say it was viral, but it for me it was you know closer to being viral than some uploads I've done to my Facebook page. So anyway, um, if any of these uh, interest you, obviously um, you know they're they can be printed off. Uh, if you have any questions, um, you can email me again, or you can contact me on my Facebook page, or even there's a Flickr mail area here. Um, okay, if you have any questions, um, feel free to ask. Have a good, uh, good weekend and week.